Prime Minister, Honorable Philip J. P. M. was on hand to cut the ribbon and officially open a new cassava processing plant in Ajemiku. The new facility is poised to further diversify the local agro-processing industry and paves the way for St. Lucian manufactured cassava byproducts to enter the local, regional and international markets. My car hasn't got an FAR, but I have a lot of interest. I have a lot of interest in, in agriculture. Um, so we were in Trinidad, and I had, to, I had to go to Trinidad because I wanted to instill in my minister and to show the world that St. Lucia was interested in agriculture diversification. And that's why I had to come here. Because, uh, as you know, guys, the crops, the byproducts of cassava are phenomenal. I mean, I, I got some samples, and I have some at home. The byproducts of, from cassava, the things that can come out of cassava, come from cassava. And I heard the expert from agriculture, from, uh, Mr. Sherry, speak about cereals. That is a shortage. There's a big shortage of cereals in the world. And if we have our own cassava and our, and our own cereals, we can do quite a bit. So this thing, what we're doing here is revolutionary. The Prime Minister, members of his cabinet and special invited guests were given a tour of the new facility where they also sampled cassava-based pastries. The new cassava processing plant also advances the peer administration's food security agenda, inching the country closer to reliable supplies of healthier food options. We have to instill that kind of development in the mindset of our young people. And that comes, and we add it to the fact that we can get our young people to change their tastes. To change their tastes. We know that it's many young people like, and I don't want to be macaroni and cheese, nothing wrong with it. But there's also green fig salad, and sweet potato salad, and breadfruit salad, and plant and plantains, local food with the same carbohydrates, but better carbohydrates, and foods that we can grow in St. Lucia, and foods we can grow in St. Lucia, we can add value to it, and we can improve the nutritional, the nutritional value in that food and help our young people. The Global Environment Facility Small Grants Fund approved funding for the project. The cassava processing plant is being managed by the St. Lucia Civil Service Multipurpose Workers Cooperative Society Limited. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.